All right, let's lock in. Let's lock in, man. Let's lock in. React to the cringe podcast moments, baby girls. Let's see what we got. Cringe. We all love a bit of cringe. I know there's about to be some hell of Theon moments. Theon Vaughn moments in here. Cringe. Mo, don't put any examples. <laughs> you don't want this as much as I do. You don't need this as much as I do. <laughs> no pressure, Tommy. I'll see you soon. <laughs> but today we're gonna. I tried so hard to forget that happened. I tried so hard to forget that happened. Oh my god. We had to some cringe in podcasts. It seems like everyone and their mom has a podcast. And oh I my god. Who are those two guys, bro? The Peyton? It's like Peyton and somebody else. I just remember a clip popped up on my page the other day. And he started off the question with, he started off his question with, how often do you change your socks? And if anybody ever starts a question like that, you know they're disgusting. But let's see what we got. I'm sure there is a lot of cringy things that have been said in said podcast. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight into it. And I, I go around sometimes and I hang out with other people that are my age and they're just... Kind of scared of the fucking I'm just like, dude, like, oh my god, like, can we talk about like the political and economic state of the world right now? Oh no. Uh, big up, Jay. The political man. and economic <laughs> state of the world right now, man? That was the most legendary one. so much for that. That was a <laughs> It's like, bro, just let kids be kids, man. <laughs> Don't grow up too fast. <laughs> Just enjoy. And hey, this enjoy is why he was doing the years. shit that he was enjoy doing. That's crazy. Days. Because when shit hits the fan, when shit get real deep, well, when you gotta pay taxes, <laughs> you gotta, you know, look up yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah. Life can hit you real hard. So enjoy the times when you don't dick. have to think about too much. <laughs> God forbid it doesn't go in your guys' direction, for real. Oh. I think you guys take all of your jewelry assets and invest it in something, so you guys will never ever be broke again. This is actually good, very good advice. I don't oh. think there's ever gonna be a broke situation, but I'm saying like, if you guys- Wait, didn't, didn't they start kissing each other? Yeah. Wait! Because they said yeah, they, was ne they knew they weren't gonna go broke. Moving JJ, that was the plan, bro. That was the plan. They weren't gonna invest their assets. They weren't gonna invest anything. They were just gonna start sucking each other. And they were like, hey, listen, it's for money, so it's not gay. It's okay. It's okay. Right. They did like an OnlyFans, but they were brothers, so they started doing stuff on there, and it leaked, and they go, ugh, ugh, brother, ugh. <laughs> Man. The fact, ugh. like, the, if you would post I, pictures I, I of you making out with your brother, 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 brother for money, like. You see that. No one needs to see. I don't even want to know what you would do for other, back. Man. I don't want to know. You guys. Jewelry is it can't be worth that much, man. I don't think you're gonna flip that into yeah. a retirement. No, you could definitely flip the <laughs> yeah. jewelry into it. Uh, God, God, no, nah, you know what? Like... Actually, I'm gonna show you because I, I gotta piss some of you off. <laughs> ah! 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 Weren't we past it? Weren't we? Were we not past it? I didn't. I, I didn't ask. Oh no! Get it off! Get off the screen! No, get out! I can't. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I just did that. Oh my god! He no, that is it. disgusting. What? No, man. The things people do for money. I swear. You can't. Why did you enough. pause there? I'd kill don't, myself. Don't do. <laughs> if you don't. Don't try to spin this. Do not try to spin this right now. Uh uh uh. -uh. Not happening. Not happening. Not happening. Not happening. Not happening. Not happening. I told you from the beginning that was wild. Stop it. I had to kiss my bro. I'd kill myself. Like, I'm jumping off any fucking bridge headfirst <laughs> into the ground. Oh my god. I okay, if I had to do it, like, I was gonna die or some shit. Like, okay, cool. But, like, damn. Like, I'm not gonna fucking jump off a bridge for it. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I just did that. I've seen it, so you all have to see it too. <laughs> we have. Like, what do you think the wildest thing you would do? Like, let's take a second here to kind of just drift back into reality. You know what I mean? Like, say somebody has your mother's. I'm talking about has her by the neck, two feet up in the air, about to just rip, like rip her head from her fucking neck. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's about, to, it's like insane, right? And she's just like, the guy turns over, looks at you, and he's like, hey, 
All you gotta do, all you gotta do is suck your brother to completion. And I'll let all of you walk out of here alive. Like what are we do? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we? What, what are we doing? Are we? Is it over? What are you got You got to switch it around, Spree. Now it's your sister. You got to eat her out to completion. That's just all it is. You know what I'm saying? You're pulling the strap out. Oh, so you're gonna put on a fake penis and watch your brother suck that? That's kind of crazy, Shadow. Honestly, wow. Okay. All right, so shadow on some different stuff. Okay. Mm. Multiple. Wait, that oh. was. Yeah. Hey, that was that was nah, for you doing, guys. Yeah, you, you that wasn't like a hate shot. I don't need I yeah. don't need financial yeah, advice when I probably make more money than you. you. But that was me being nice. It okay. wasn't me. Yeah, kissing each other. <laughs> Who's paying for that? It's a ditty activity. Oh, <laughs> being like an asshole. I could be an asshole. Bro, I could turn it off and be an asshole. Why don't you go talk to somebody else about that? Go in your favor. But look, no, it could go in my favor. I, you really don't want to go there, bro. I could go there. Okay, I, I was giving you guys nice advice, and you guys were being assholes. Niggas don't, niggas don't know George. George really be throwing shit. Like George got them hands, okay? Like I don't think people know. But George got them hands. George can definitely fight. If if I'm pulling anybody that's sitting on this couch for my backup, okay? Especially off of watching videos back in the day, I'm definitely asking George to have my back, okay? Hey George, keep cool. talking. I'm walk out. I'm it. I'm right here, you guys. Okay. So what are you trying to say? I'm just saying you guys are throwing a lot of threats. I'm sitting right here. No one's threatening you. Threatening you. you. You guys said it's not gonna go my way. Out. Yeah. I'm this is not the new boys. George we don't do fake talking, over here. Yeah. What are you, are you trying to scare me or something? I'm not scared of you, homie. Huh, <laughs> I'm not I'm scared of you guys here. <laughs> hey, yeah. What are you here? Yeah. What are you, are you trying to scare me or something? I'm not scared of you, homie. Huh, I'm not scared of you, homie. Huh, homie, I'm not scared of you. This is not the new boys. We don't do fake over here. Yeah. What are you trying to scare me or something? I'm not scared of you, homie. I'm not scared of you, honey. Honey, I mean, what do you mean? This is not the new oh, boys. We don't do fake talking, over here. Yeah, what are you, are you trying to scare me or something? I'm not scared of you, honey. Hell no. I'm not scared of you guys either. Okay, so I mean, I'm not. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna step in for a hey, second. Hey, just, I, hold on. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, hold on. This is a podcast. Yeah, no, what's up, then? What's up, then? Uh, now do I'm some shit. You nice advice, bro. I, I agree with that. Do some shit. I'm so How these niggas go go through threats and then walk off the podcast? It's crazy though that niggas will think that they have the credibility to even matter to walk off this podcast. You know what I'm saying? Like it's insane. They think that this shit ain't gonna go up without them. You know what I'm saying? Insane. XQC looking at it. It's insane, bro. But I'm just disrespecting it. Like where the chin at? Where the chin at, my boy? Insane. Like, did I say anything mean? I, you fucked up, George. <laughs> Our first guest to walk. You dumbass. Hey, you, know you, walk. You, you know me from Island Boys, but you know I'm thugging, bro, right? You know that, right? Why don't we just let cooler what heads prevail? Why don't we just happened? let cooler listen heads me. prevail? You I know how to do that. Please! George and this shit giving him good advice. And then they just flipped They're on like, him. Yo, you giving me good advice? Fuck you, bro. You wanna fucking fight? <laughs> We're what? so stupid. <laughs> Let's battle this out. <laughs> hey guys, do these steps in order to never be broke. What the fuck are you talking about? No, nah, man, square up. <laughs> How dare you try to help me? <laughs> you haven't ended it. You keep on talking about it. But you just said it's, right now. It's probably because the cameras are still on. Yeah. I already told bro, you trying to show up, bro. We're not even alone. Okay, so, okay, you explain to me <laughs> what I said. Okay, George, because I was fucking with you in the beginning. Bro, I never stopped fucking with you okay, guys. Okay, but George, leave it alone. I was fucking with I you the first half. Alone. Leave it alone. Guys, 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 guys. I don't know if y'all are serious, but... I'm, no, I'm we're, not serious. We're, no. we're done, we're done, we're done. Okay, appreciate it. Oh, Thank God. you. <laughs> Women tend to think that we care about, like, their opinions and all this other stuff. We don't care about none of that. Men actually don't want to lie. I just love that we don't care about... The, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, fuck that. We gotta... What? Women tend to think that we care about, like, their opinions and all this other stuff. We don't care about none of that. Men actually don't want to lie, guys. We're very simple. Oh, no. <laughs> he does not speak for all men. Can we relax? <laughs> I take in all opinions, okay? <laughs> Men, women, whatever, I right? Let's shut up. <laughs> Whoa. I just think these niggas is clowns because they get, they, they always like say shit and then they get it proven why like the shit that they saying isn't how they actually feel genuinely inside. Like my boy was wifing niggas under the, like completely under the table. Like, have, about to have kids and shit. Now you tell her to get rid of the kid because they people didn't found out about it. Like, I'm just, I, I don't know. It, it, shit is getting confusing. That boy Myron, I, I don't know. I don't know. Myron seemed like the only one that's really standing on business. 
but at the same time, both of them are shaky, okay? And the, any or anything they say should be taken with the craziest grain of salt. Like, I'm talking about, you should be the, the grainiest of grains, okay? What are we doing? Oh, my, this guy. We tend to think that we care about, like, their opinions and all this other stuff. We don't care about none of that. What? Men actually don't want a lot, guys. We're very simple. Women's opinions, of course, are valid. This guy has got everything seriously twisted. But you will eventually, won't you? So if you were with a woman and you were settling with a woman and you were growing as the business or something, your woman is naturally going to be right by your side, isn't she? So you are going to value her opinion. You are going to respect No, because the reality is when a woman's with a man that she loves, admires, respects, her opinions pretty much become your opinions. Girls absorb the strongest man that they're in a relationship with or that they're linked to. So for example, if a girl has a strong father, a lot of the time she has a very similar worldview to her father. Yeah. If she has strong brothers, she has a similar worldview. If she doesn't have any male, you know, influence, she'll think dumb shit like her mom tells her, oh, man ain't shit, blah, blah, blah. So I can always tell from speaking with a woman if she has a father or some kind of strong masculine figure in her life. God damn, bro said women are just out here to be trained and they need to be fucking laid down how to like do everything in their life and guided and Jesus Christ. My boy need to go to fucking Palestine or something right now. Like, what is happening? He in the wrong country. We don't believe that over here, my boy. You need to go to Dubai or some shit over there. <laughs> hey, Starry, are they letting bitches drive yet or not? Nah? What's happening? That's why we don't care about y'all opinions, because we know it can be more. Uh, I'm sorry. That is... <laughs> This brother is going to die alone, I swear. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not, because people suck. And there's women out there that, like, listen to this shit, they, they get horny. <laughs> that's why the world is, like, that's why the world is the way the world works. Because you can say something, and then you can meet somebody at a stage of their life where they're so, like, uh, impressionable, and everything that's been going on in their life has been going so wrong, and then you almost look like a savior to them. So then when they meet you at this weak point in their life, they feel like whatever you're saying is actually like it makes sense because they're so mentally fucking just low and stupid. You know what I'm saying? They're, then they're they're immediately just like, I'm going to take this in and I'm going to believe it. It's just like how people get caught going into cults and all types of stuff like ugh, just mm, fuck it. People, people are weird, bro. People are weird. People are weird. Oh, my God. I. I cannot wait to see the person he tries to settle down with. Oh my God, man. She's, she's basically going to be a sex doll. Like, <laughs> literally. That's what he wants to date. She's not going to have no, no rights. She ain't going to be Shut able up, to girl, say anything. You just do all. <laughs> That's all I want from you. All. <laughs> Don't give me your opinions. Just all. <laughs> sex now. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God, I think they're getting thinner, bro. Like, it's like the more and more that he's doing videos, like now we're starting to see that these bitches are getting, I, I think every time he records a video, he goes back here and he licks, the, he licks the cream from the Oreo and then puts it back because this one wasn't even bent like this before. If it's a slinky, I'm gonna cry. Fucking hell, so stupid. What bothers you the most right now? Nothing. Nothing bothers you? You look at your phone while we're doing this interview <laughs> and everybody's seeming disinterested. Were you yeah. looking at notes or, or, or texting girls? Notes. Notes. Yeah. I'm trying, what do you mean? Me taking time out of my day to do this and then feeling Dude, like I've I'm never forcing been... you guys to do the podcast. I've never been more <laughs> excited to do a podcast. Say again? I've never been more excited. I'm sorry. I don't apologize. No. Don't apologize. You asked me what annoyed me and I gave you an honest answer. Wait, are you being serious about that? Yeah. That annoyed me. Really? <laughs> yes. So if someone is that the, surprising to you? Well, if I'm looking at my notes, I have some things personally that I wrote that I wanted to ask you. Not on okay. there. Okay. So I can't look at that and then ask you that. I mean, you can, I guess. What if someone in the audience is on their phone when you're doing that? Then they gonna get the same treatment you got. D would you call them out? Yes. Have you done that before? Yes. And how's that reaction? It'd be funny though, because honestly, when I watch the Nope Boys podcast, and I feel like if he has ever watched, like. When it, 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 you got to come on to a podcast and have watched the podcast. When you watch a Nelk Boys podcast, it's almost like they're asking questions from a perspective of someone that has never in their fucking life done any research about the guest. You know what I'm saying? Like, they've never had a conversation with the guest. They've never, like, thought of extra stuff, like, anything. That's just, like, they're just lost in the sauce. You understand what I'm saying? So... They they almost want to just they want it to feel 
Like, at least this is what I think. They wanted to feel like a guy just walked into a frat house, sat down at the frat table where all the bros were having a conversation, and you're just joining in, and now we're just going to ask about you and see what's going on with you. Like, oh, what do you do? Oh, that's what you do? Oh, tell us about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like we just want you to come in and tell us your story. We're not going to do too much crazy research and sit down and bug you with a fuckload of questions. We just want you to come in and have a chat as a homie. You know what I'm saying? And, like, even then how he asked, like, I could, I could see that being a little crazy. Because, like, if you know Andrew Schultz, you know his crowd work is, like, what he's known for. So the fact that he was like, oh, has anybody ever been on your phone at a show and you said that to them? Like, if you've ever, like, if you would consider yourself somebody that enjoys what Andrew Schultz does, like, and you're, like, an actual fan of him, then you would know that that's what he does. You know what I'm saying? So it. It, it's a little disrespectful when you're sitting there in front of somebody asking them questions about what they're literally famous for and then being like, oh, wow, you do that? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can see it from both sides. But at the same time, it, both of them took it as a L. I hope they sit down again because I love both their podcasts. No cap. I, I, will sit, I hope they sit down again. Good. They get as offensive as I do? I don't think you're offensive. I think you're offended. Offended, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, well, my fault. There's no fault. It's fine. You asked me how I felt. I gave you an honest reaction. All right, my bad. God, that was awkward. <laughs> I remember that clip. That was, that was a really awkward, <laughs> awkward time. A lot of guys are socially awkward. I think I think you're a bit ignorant to like the average guy's experience. Um, consider this, right? Most guys, the average guy today, his granddad had to put in a quarter of the work to get mm -hmm. the kind of woman that is four times as amazing as the woman he's attracted. Oh, you're are you talking? Like, you're talking like about his grand, like his grandmother. He's talking was an amazing about woman like people and a, and being a very like feminine, born into woman. marriage. And his granddad really think, right? has to do the kind of work he has to do right now Yo, as a young man in Western world. So, so you're talking about hoflation. Yes, it's hoflation. Hoflation. So modern men have to work five times harder than their grandfathers did for women twenty times worse than what their grandmothers were. <laughs> no. <man. laughs> Well, we just make it up terms of hoflation. <laughs> nah, nah, y'all killing me. I just be weak because it'd be blowing my mind that people's minds be working like this. But then again, I guess the world wouldn't be the world if everybody didn't think hella differently. You know what I'm saying? with this shit. Ain't no way. It'd be, it's so crazy. You believe this shit. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> and it's like, even if it's like jokes, it's like, damn, bro. There's people that like sit and watch that shit. And they're like, I believe that shit. Like what they're saying is facts, bro. If you really look back in time, like, no, nigga. Your grandma was sucking dicks just like that bitch over there on the corner right now sucking dicks. Okay. Everybody was, everybody is, every, everybody out here fucking slutting around, okay? It, it wasn't, it, it, just because it was frowned upon back then, they were, you could walk into a house and pick a bitch out of a lineup and say, I'm trying to fuck all of them bitches for 16 nickels, okay, and three pennies, and they was all letting the pussy go. Your fucking great-grandmother was shaking pussy on the cobblestones, okay? It's crazy, it's crazy. But then again, you got to think about it. Your uncle, your uncle was out here literally like. Think about this, right? You know, the, the idea that they were like manservants back in the day, right? But think about it this way. There was like, there were like men, right? And then there were like the niggas who couldn't get right. That were like below the level of like men that had things and were able to like supply things and like had businesses and all that. And then you had the bum ass niggas. So like, think about it this way, right? There's just like how there's like that standard of women, there's that horrible, crappy standard of niggas that like is around as well. You know what I'm saying? Like you got dirt bags, you got niggas who do weird shit. It's the same thing. It, niggas who sluts, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. It goes both ways. It goes both ways. 100%. <laughs> how often do you reuse your towels after you shower? Oh, here it is. What do you mean? The, this how is often Peyton do you use and, the same uh, towel? I can forget the other guys did. three to four sh What? You're disgusting. Three to four showers for one towel. You're I disgusting for that. Three to four showers, one towel. How many towels do you have to just dispose? I don't put the same do nasty too. towel that I just used on my undergarments area and then dry my face with it the next shower. You're disgusting. I mean, 
surely this guy doesn't wash properly then. <laughs> yeah, because if I dry my nuts after I clean myself, then surely I can dry my nuts after I clean myself with the same towel if I'm clean after. Right? I'm so confused. <laughs> the towel is there to dry you, brother. <laughs> Not to clean you up, bro. What you what you been doing in the shower? <laughs> you just been letting water run on you and then be like, oh, okay, I'm clean. Let me double clean myself with the fucking towel. No, the towel's there to dry you. What are we doing here, people? Am I the only one that is seeing this shit? These people are stupid. <laughs> it's pissing me off. How long did you go without bathing? How long did you do it? And I'm disgusting. They don't know how long I've gone without showering. So share it. The longest ever was three and a half weeks. Three and a half, you, you. I think I had shit growing from his ball sack. That's insane. You went. Nah, bro. Like the longest I've done is like three days. And I feel like shit because I can smell BO literally secreting out of my armpits. Uh, I can feel the sweat balls juice dripping out <laughs> of my pants. Like, I feel disgusting after three days. But uh, how have you done three and a half weeks? What? How is that possible? How? Bro, did you just... There's no way you went outside. There's no way. Ah! I don't wanna know, what was he doing? What's he doing? Is he like for breezing himself off or something? Like, what was he doing for three weeks? Was he going around people? I wouldn't even be comfortable going around somebody like that. That's crazy. Three and a half weeks! I, I, and this brother's <laughs> talking about clean towels. Shut the fuck up, brother! Forget the towels, bro. You're, <laughs> you have a problem. A habitual cycle. Like, it was, it, you went, tw you had a, a whole microbiome on your back. You had a realm of bacteria. You didn't even realize you weren't clean at that point. You're disgusting. <laughs> That's a bad month. Y yeah. A bad oh, month. Did you just hear what you said? You went a twelfth of a year without bathing. Oh. I didn't wow. smell bad that bad. Oh nah, my god. Oh no my way. god. Nah, lies, lies, lies. Bro, nah, his nah, nuts nah, had nah, to nah, stink. Uh -huh. Average Joe viewer. Nah, oh, so nah, you guys all do that? Nah. Zima, you just don't be showering? <laughs> that's crazy. Imagine someone living with him. Oh, that's that is that's a punishment right there. <laughs> Suffering <laughs> just for living. <laughs> you didn't smell Ugh. that bad. I still use deodorant. <laughs> what? We've all gone three weeks without showering. I no, have never, from the from never the conception of me, I have never gone three weeks without showering. And you would have said something because it was when we lived together. You would have said something. Then you probably went through three bottles of cologne. I wasn't using cologne whenever I would step out. I would just use the Febreze and go like that around my body. Febreze, no. Just, oh my God! So he was putting like a coating of film around him too every time. Oh. So I was pleasant to others. This guy, man. Dude, your soul was. Febreze, bro. You're, I swear you're not gonna put Febreze on your body. <laughs> Have I just been doing all of this wrong? I swear you use Febreze after you take a massive shit. That's what you do, just to uh, master smell. This brother's putting it on him. Do you not have aftershave? Oh, dear. God, dude. Oh. And has anybody noticed, bro? But like, I feel like the new Febreze, it doesn't like dissolve in the air. Like, like, okay, it fucking riddle me this, right? Like, I feel like I was using Febreze at one point and I was spraying in the air and it would like disappear in the fucking air, right? But now I'd be spraying Febreze and like it'd be leaving like a film on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never noticed that before. Unless, unless I just never noticed it. But on oh God, I swear it, I swear that was never a thing. Like, now I spray it and like if you look down at the ground, you can literally see the floor is like wet. Like, it just. It just all like was so heavy in the air that it just all fell back down. It does feel more dense. Same. Oh, man. You didn't have. Oh shit, bruv, you're American. Zima, aren't you like Arabian or some shit? Don't you guys wipe your ass with the with the with your hands? With your hands, and then you eat with your hands. No silverware, you dirty bitch. Get out of here. Yes, we use water. I use water too. I have a boudet or bidet. What do you mean? And wet wipes. My asshole's clean. So no soap? 
You don't put a, cl a cleanser in the in there? You're just just water and shit, huh? You dirty bitches. Clean thoughts, probably. You were just <laughs> sick. Well, I didn't brush for that whole time either, so. Oh, uh, no, no. Put him in the bed, bro. I didn't brush for three weeks? <gasps> No, 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 that's crazy. no, honestly, that, no, is, that's crazy. that is a no, violation. No, now you pissed me off. No, 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 no you pissed me off. Bro, surely you Will wake you up. Will you soap and water? Your teeth nope. And you can that's feel that's a fucking lie. There, like, oh, <laughs> that's a fucking lie. Last time it was just Why running water. I've seen, I've seen it. I've been there. Twice a day. It's just running Fuck. water. Oh, oh, I didn't see no soap dispenser next to the toilet. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Fuck this guy. My third night with this partner. It's really fun. I'm. Ew, what the fuck? Ew, what the fuck? Is JoJo Siwa talking about sex? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. I'm having the time of my life. Oh, I know. No, no, no. We should not be fucking hearing this. This bitch is fucking nine, dude. No, skip the whole segment. No, no. Oh, fuck! You can bot dial in 2024. Uh, uh, anyway. Some people, and someone said to me, they were like, hey, is it. Did that bitch just have bows on like two days ago? What? Transphobic to not want to date a trans person, right? And I was explaining to them. That, that's a stupid question. <laughs> I was explaining to them. What the fuck is that? They were like, hey, is it transphobic to not want to date a trans person, right? And I was explaining to them... That that's a stupid question. <laughs> I was explaining to them that if your reasoning for not wanting to date a trans person is because they don't have the genitals you are attracted to, that's totally reasonable. That's just not being attracted to that set of genitals, right? Mm. But if it's purely just that they have the genitals you like and everything, you like them, but you don't like that they're trans, then yeah, that's you don't yeah, like trans people. I, I, I don't think it's a necessarily but, a problem to be like not attracted to it. No, because it's a different set of genitals. It's not a real pussy. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Like you're not about to sit here and tell me that you got the same fucking vagina that I that I came out of. Like stop it. It's not the fucking same. It's not. It's not the fucking same. It's not. It's completely different. It's completely completely fucking different. It's completely fucking different. We're not doing this. We're not. It's it's fucking. It's totally different, bro. It's totally different. You're not doing this to my fucking mom and my goddamn sister who walk around as real women their whole fucking life. And niggas decided after one year they want to become a fucking woman, and now they will now that now they're fucking living life and they're hurt about goddamn. Fuck that. No. No. no I don't think there's a problem with not having an attraction to it, but saying that you would never date a trans person or something is different to saying you're not generally attracted to trans people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like writing off an entire group right. of people. It's like how you know there'll be people that like they have preferences for a certain race of people or, or something. With, or, like, or, or, or a gender. Right? Yeah. Like gay men aren't sexist because they don't like pussy. No, they're <laughs> sexy because they don't like pussy. <laughs> it's true. I mean, I feel like I feel people are allowed to have their preference. Like, yes, so you can believe, you can care about whatever you want to care about. That's why this world is the way that this world is. Okay, that's why that we are able to live and be as free and awesome. It's not not really free, not really awesome, not really able to live. Listen. <laughs> The reason why we were able to do and be what we want to be here, goddammit, is because because this is fucking America, goddammit, okay? If you want to go out there and you want to fucking change your fucking dick and do a pussy, you do so, okay? But you call yourself a fucking transgender person, okay? You're not a fucking woman. You're a transgender person, okay? Figure it out, all right? You're not... Figure it the fuck out, okay? Figure it the fuck out, all right? Like, we're not doing this bullshit. We're not. I'm not... We're not standing on it. Figure it the fuck out, okay? I'm not handling it. We're not doing that shit over here, okay? Be you, but don't try to, don't, like, that's like me. That's like a nigga going and getting a whole black tattoo and then being like, I identify as a black man now. I identify as a black man now. I didn't have to grow up and live my life as a black man and figure out why everybody hated me and didn't want me around and didn't allow me in their stores without following me around. I didn't have to live through that, but goddamn it. 
I'm gonna call myself a black man now. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. That you did not have a confusive, a confused period in your life where you randomly had a fucking period and fucking fourth grade and had to call your parents and cry in a goddamn locker room like niggas you didn't have that you weren't a real woman you didn't have that fucking experience so stop it stop trying to live that shit it's not it's not a thing stop it stop it to stop it we're, we're different for a reason men, men are men women are women transgender people are transgender people race. that's how it is race. Like, it's three genders nigga with everything. that's how it is <laughs> In order to not be racist. <laughs> I haven't had sex with an Asian before. Fuck, I'm racist. <laughs> I'm racist towards Asians. <laughs> this is just not how it works. <laughs> Everyone has a preference. Men and women the same. No, they're not. Okay, is it far easier for women to have sex? Yes. So wouldn't it make sense that it's far easier for women to cheat? Yes, Since it's easier but we for have you... different reasons to. Yeah, but it does not change yes. the fact. Women emotionally cheat and men physically cheat. It's different. It's fucking different, okay? It's different. I know a lot of fat bitches out here that can't get no dick. Can't get no dick. I got a lot of female friends out here that are like, God damn it, nobody wants to fuck me. I got, I know a lot of niggas that aren't getting no pussy, okay? It's hard out here for everybody. Everybody trying to nut in something. We, it's hard out here for everybody, God damn it, okay? Fuck. The fact that you still are cheating. The threshold for cheating for a woman is far less than a man because here's the thing women mm -hmm. like to use male standards when it benefits them but they also like to use uh female I'm assuming standards when it them. exactly in other words you want to say well i'm not cheating because i didn't fuck anybody else no 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 that's the male standard because for us it's hard to get sex <laughs> okay, for you however saying. it's easy so you can't use a male metric of cheating when it's far easier for you to get sex yeah. <laughs> what did he just this thing just mansplayed his ass off <laughs> You know what? I have to respect their way of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> like the fact that he, the the amount of copium in there is crazy. <laughs> cheating is cheating, no matter what what gender you are. Like, Literally, it's still the there's no same. way of looking at it. <laughs> there's no hierarchy on cheating because you're a different gender. What? Oh man. You know what? We're gonna leave it there. I've, I've... My motto in life is "fat bitches need love too." That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. You gotta understand, it's a lot of it's a lot of niggas out here not getting no pussy. Why you think it's so many people out here getting murdered? You think you, it's so many people out here fighting, getting shot and shit? You want to know why? Cause they not getting no pussy. They not getting no pussy. That's why. That's what's going on. That's what's wrong with the world. You want to know why there's so many fucking LGBTQT women out here screaming up the wall and shit? Cause they not getting no dick. They not getting no dick. They're mad about it. I'm telling you, that's the that's the whole world. That's the world right now. Ain't nobody loving each other, and we just all fucked up. That's it. Everybody's. That's it. We got way too much time on our hands. That's that we wrong. We wrong. It's God. We got to do better as people, man. We got to. We got to do better as people, man. We got to do better.